If you should find that a screen is still out of registration after using the TriLock palette to recheck the screen positions, you can pinpoint the problem by backtracking through the system. The first step is to check the films for proper alignment. Set the main trap film on the light table's pin bar. Then set the offending colors film over the trap film and confirm alignment. In this case, the films were not aligned properly in the art department. Realign the film and burn a new screen to resolve the issue. The second step is to check the screen after the print run is finished. After cleaning and drying the screen, mount the offending colors film on the master frame's pin bar. Then load the screen into the master frame. By checking the screen against the film, you can determine if the frame was loaded correctly during exposure. In this case, the image is to the right of the film, indicating that the frame was not correctly contacting the side stop block during the initial exposure. To resolve the issue, expose a new screen. Before exposure, ensure that all contact points between the frame and the stop blocks are free of glue, tape, screen mesh, or other matter, and correctly seat the screen in the master frame. When using Newman roller frames with the TriLock system, be aware that the front corner can catch the side of the front stop block before it's correctly brought into contact with the face of the stop block. You should always visually confirm stop block contact to avoid this problem. On automatic presses, check the frame holder adjustment bolts for tightness. Loose frame holders will prevent accurate registration. Screen tension plays a huge part in image registration and print quality. Consistent screen tension at 25 newtons or better is critical since the screen is ultimately responsible for image transfer to the substrate. Large variations in screen tension within the same setup can cause registration problems that can't be corrected by the TriLock system. When taping screens, take special care to avoid taping over corners that will come in contact with the master frame stop blocks as this will prevent accurate registration by changing the point of contact between the frame and the TriLock pallet stop blocks. Some M&R automatic presses are equipped with a frame airlock pressure regulator at the base of the machine. Remove the lower cover to access the regulator and set the regulator between 100 and 110 PSI, or 6.8 and 7.5 bars. The pallet locks should be adjusted to provide a tight lockdown of pallets Loose locks will allow the TriLock pallet to shift, causing a loss of registration accuracy. Most current M&R presses equipped with rear micro-adjusters have a locking disc that holds the rear frame holder rigid when the micro-adjuster is not being used. It is important to check these locks for tightness. The rear frame holder extrusion should have no play or wobble in it. Any play in the rear frame holders during the TriLock setup can directly affect registration accuracy. It's important to lubricate each squeegee by rubbing the edge of the squeegee blade in the ink. Be sure to cover the entire length of the blade. This will ensure that when the blade comes down for the first print stroke, it will slide freely on the surface of the mesh. Otherwise, the squeegee may catch and distort the mesh, which may affect accurate registration. 
Squeegee pressure can affect screen tension, so it's important to check squeegee pressure settings before making the first print. Excessive pressure can throw screens out of registration on the first print stroke. If your press is equipped with squeegee pressure regulators, set each head's regulator to a common pressure between 45 and 50 PSI, or 3.1 and 3.4 bars. If your press is not equipped with squeegee pressure regulators, use the mechanical adjustments found on the print carriage to correctly set the squeegee pressure. Refer to the press operator's manual for proper adjustment and operation of squeegee pressure systems. Never index the press by pushing or pulling on the tri-lock pallet. Indexing the carousel by grabbing the tri-lock pallet can cause it to shift on the pallet bracket, preventing accurate registration. Always use a pallet on either side of the tri-lock pallet to rotate the carousel. Before unlocking the micro-adjustment locking handles, check all three of the small black cross-shaped micro-adjuster knobs. You should be able to freely rotate them about one quarter turn in each direction. If there is tension in the adjuster, loosen it to allow one quarter turn of movement. This will prevent any preloaded tension on the micro-adjuster assembly from causing the micros to jump when the locks are released. When adjusting the front micro-adjusters, unlock the rear frame holder to allow the frame to move freely during adjustment. Be sure to lock down the rear frame holder when you're finished. 